Orlando Furioso is an extraordinarily complex affair. What the librettist had done was to combine the story of Alcina and the story of Orlando, who is in love with a girl called Angelica, which is why he's Furioso. Now, there's only one thing more uh, powerful in this world than glory, and that's being overwhelmed by the powers of love, which gives a kind of madness. And so Orlando becomes a great model of madness. He's a knight, strong, he's a Mr. Goody, and she is a Mrs. Beautiful, and is going to marry Orlando. So Alcina, whose main purpose in life is to seduce hunks of knights, seeing where she likes them, and when she doesn't, she just turns them to stone. Orlando lands on the island, looking for Angelica, where he hears she has been. It is Orlando who manages to destroy Alcina. They move a statue. I mean, just moving a statue, you wouldn't think would do it, really. Or somehow, this manages to make the island of Alcina unstable, and it falls apart and crashes. Orlando gets together uh, with Angelica, but actually not. Because in the meantime that Angelica has been away, she's fallen in love with someone else, another Christian knight called Medoro. And finally, he has to say, OK, I can see it's real love between Angelica and Medoro, and they're going to be wed, and I myself, I'm just going to have to content myself with being a Christian paladin, that is, a knight in the service of Charlemagne. Boo-hoo.